All right, so we are, this is crazy. Let me put a hat on. Let me put a hat on. And uh, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. I can't wait to get that Corona vaccine. I'm with Dr. Greger. Dr. Greger, been a bit of a critic in the past, saying he's a multimillionaire fraud, etc. Asking for you know, donations for his non-profit, etc. In his name, um, I'm all wrong about that. Dr. Greger's advice is right. The vaccine. Dr. Greger's pro-vaccine, pro-fluoride, and I am too. Anti-sugar. Sugar down, vaccines up. The science. Let's go with that. So I can't wait for the Corona vaccine to come on board. I'm gonna. I've been saving all my money for it. I'm gonna. Hopefully, it's, uh, they upload it to eBay or StockX, so I can get like a. What's it called? Like a. a, a get it faster. You know, get it, get that vaccine faster. I can't wait to get that. It. It. Corona's full on, man. It's serious business, man. Like 21 people have passed away in Australia since the start of the year. Like we're April, start of April now. And 21 people have died. 21. 20. No, normally in Australia, nobody dies. Nobody dies from heart disease. Or maybe it'd be five years. Meth. Meth crime. Drug crime. Violence in the street. Domestic violence. Hoons spitting in cars. Drink, drink. drink. That, that, that happens like a few times a year. Maybe Christmas or something. So there's a few many beers. And Aussies don't really drink much. Alcohol related ER admissions. You, you hardly even get it. You know, you hardly even get it. It's Australia is such a safe place. Like we, we're so we're so nice to each other on the street. There's no violence. It's just you know, it's just, it's just a really cool place to live. You know, it's it really is getting better and better. If you live on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Gold Coast, it's just a bunch of friendly lads all out there just support one another. You know, all and everybody's just getting better and better. Ask the police officers if you don't believe me. Ask your local police officer, is the street crime, violence, etc., getting better? And they're like, you know what? Half the time I'm on the shift just on my phone, just scrolling Tinder, just sort of browsing Instagram. It's just no crime anymore. You know what I mean? It's just getting better and better. People are waking up. People are like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be a good citizen. I'm going to be a great person. That's another I'm going to get my vasectomy reversed. I can't wait to put the bun in the oven with Natasha. And, you know, she's got a, a great physique and looks like a teenager for, for life but now let's change that up you know let's just let's, let's put some let's put some you know c-section scars in that stomach and let's change let's just get more you know let's get more maternal going on there you know let's change it up i think it's the best time ever to get your vasectomy reversed and start making families because the future looks so bright corona is a serious issue but we'll get to the top of that i've got all my faith in trump you know i i do enjoy Trump's Twitter game. He's a bit of a troll, but seriously, I believe Trump, he cares about the average American citizen. He, he does care, you know? He does care. He's. I think the governments really do care about the citizens a lot more than we think. You know, we, we're a bit harsh on our politicians and we think that they're run by the corporations. The corporations are run by the governments, all right? The corporations are run by the government. The government says, this is how it is. And the corporations say, yes, daddy. That's how it works, man. And it always has and it always will be. It's getting better. There's less pollutants in the world. You know, if, if if pollution was as bad as people say, if if heart disease and cancer and all these obesity type 2 diabetic from fatty diets was as bad as people say, then that would be the main use. Corona's the biggest thing. Over 48,000 people this year have died from corona. Not with corona. These people are from corona. A lot of Impl Olympic athletes, perfectly healthy specimens are dying, just dropping dead in training from corona. They get pneumonia, and an hour later, they're, they're done. Corona. They got corona. You know, it's not like people with pre-existing health conditions who are dropping dead. No, 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 no. You know, maybe a few vegans might. You know, that's why I'm no longer vegan as well, because, you know, like, you need protein for strength, all right? So you're out there doing your vegan diet. That's great for, like, a little bit of a detox and a cleanse, but you need to build, and you can't build. The human, the human immune system runs on protein. All right? It runs on healthy fats. The brain's made of fats. All right? So if you don't have enough fat, your brain starts to atrophy and you get cerebral atrophy. Your brain can get so small, you can do a test, like you just shake your head. And if your brain rattles, it means it's rattling against the, the skull. You know, like, your brain's rattling. So your brain's actually shrinking like a little walnut and you shake it the shell. You know? So eat more fat. If you can do that uh, and your head rattles, more fats. You know? That's a simple test anybody can do. Anybody can do that. 
have more healthy fats, full cream dairy. You know, there's a myth out there that fat makes you fat. That's why it's called fat. That's a myth. They call it fat because it's just they're easy words to remember because it's so important to eat a lot of fat. That's why I call it fat because everyone knows what F-A-T stands for, fat. You know, it's not P-H-A-T. Like, that's like graffiti lingo, hip hop. Dance, break, and move. That's a fat move. No, no, no. This is that's sort of fat shaming. We're about fat acceptance. Yeah, we need, there's nothing wrong with obesity. Obesity doesn't kill. It's sugar. It's so skinny, rice eating, fruit eating vegans who are dying in, from protein deficiency. You know, they're, they're, they're the risk categories. These, you see, there's people on YouTube and they're eating rice and fruit and sugar. Sugar. I mean, we should, we should stand and unite against sugar even more than we are now, you know? Dr. Greg is right. Sugar's the evil one, the candy man. You know, let's vaccinate the candy man from staying away from this, all right? So sugar's the issue here, and that's caused, sugar causes obesity. Fat causes a really, you know, you, when you eat fat, it just turns to muscle. When you eat protein, it just turns to muscle. Those guys on Instagram, the ones who look like they're doing 500, 600, 800 grams of testosterone injections a week, no, 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 no. That's just they're doing high-quality fats and high-quality proteins, you know? And just, they just work harder than the average guy. There's no steroids on Instagram. There's no steroids on YouTube, right? This is just a crazy world. It's getting better. And all these Instagram influencers, YouTube influencers, they're all out there to help people. They're not out there for themselves. They're not going to lie to your face and take drugs and do body tune and face tune apps, etc. And say, hey, you know, I've got this skinny waist from doing this by my product. They're not doing body tune. They wouldn't just go like cinch it in like that. They wouldn't be doing that. Guys wouldn't be... Injecting every couple of days and getting swole on steroids and lying about it. Like Athlean X, he wouldn't be lying about that. He's a he's a hard working American. This is there's no sugar in this. Is, this is a uh, aspartamine, NutraSweet, and stevia. It's a, a triple trifecta sugar free drink. So it's very very good, very good for brain function. PewDiePie, PewDiePie now does any drinks with fake sugars in it. That's good. PewDiePie. What an what outstanding person. PewDiePie now is doing, it's called, I think it's called G Fuel. It's a caffeine drink marketed for eight-year-olds. That's what, I mean, eight-year-olds need more caffeine. So PewDiePie, he was getting a little bit conscious there for a bit there, a bit, you know, a bit weird. And then, now he's advertising caffeine drinks, energy, sugar-free energy drinks for kids. That's fantastic because kids, kids need caffeine, especially eight-year-olds playing computer games. That's tough work. You know, don't, get, don't send the kid outside. could get corona. Stay indoors. Load up on the G Fuel from PewDiePie with the aspartamine. That's good for brain health. And the caffeine just gets you... You know, caffeine's a nutrient. Sugar's a poison. Sugar's a drug. Caffeine is a nutrient. It's found in human mother's breast milk. Sugar's not. Sugar's not found in fruit. Sugar doesn't fuel the cells in the body. That's, that's, that's uh, Dr. Ansel Key's, you know, propaganda. Propaganda. Anyway, so... Vasectomy is booking for reversal. Can't wait. I think society is just getting so much better, and it's just oh, everyone's getting friendly. You see people in the supermarkets just like just saying, "Do you need some toilet paper? Have, have some of mine." You know, have some of my, shit toilet paper. You guys, it's plenty good. Yeah, have some of mine. It's just toilet paper. I can use a hose in the back garden and water the water the garden. We don't have a drought in Australia. We don't at all. We don't have a topsoil issue in Australia. There's there's no shortage of water. I mean, that's the myth that 97% of the world's water is in the oceans, and uh, about 2% is in the glaciers, and about 1% is in aquifers. That's a myth. I would say it'd be flipped over. 97% of the water is in your local reservoir, so turn the taps on, do whatever you have to do, water that golf green lawn at the front yard, manicure it. It's all good, man. There's no water crisis. That's just hippie green vegan talk. Those vegans. I mean, I was vegan for a bit there, you know, like... I think everyone goes for a bit of a vegan phase. You bring up Domino's and you order yourself a vegan pizza, but really you need meat for protein. You know, you need meat for protein, for strength. You know, eat your meat. So if you want to be vegan, I understand that. That's okay. It's cool, but don't push it on me. Um, you know, it's not cool. You know, it's not cool. Vegans actually is very unhealthy. And most of the people, don't, I, I, I bet there's 21 deaths, 21 people. That is a lot. I, can't, I still can't get over it. You know, 21. We should have locked down Australia a lot sooner. We've lost 21 Australians. 21. You know, that, that deserves an economic slowdown. It deserves a... Ref it just, you know what I mean? We, we have to lock it. We've got to be stricter. You know, I'm not leaving the house until next year. You know, even then, I'm like, 
I'm, I'm getting, when the flies come through the door, the cockroaches, I'm testing them for COVID, man. I'm like, bro, give us that little footprint by Mr. Roachy. I'm going to test it for COVID. Yeah, and if you're out, you're getting fed to the huntsman. I ain't having roaches in my house with COVID. That's just, you know, like, the cats, my cats, I keep in the bathroom now. Wrap them up in bad boy Bubby glad wrap. You know, just have a little mouth breathing hole, of course, but like, Bad Boy Bobby, man, this was back in 1995. Have you seen the movie Bad Boy Bobby? Watch it. That's like, that's actually a really good movie. You know what I mean? It's like, just, it's inspirational. It's goals. It's goals. Everyone is more Bad Boy Bobby in his life. Bad Boy Bobby was my inspiration to start up YouTube. He was. Bad Boy, you, if you haven't seen Bad Boy Bobby, you've got to watch it. It's almost as good as his hat. But seriously, Bad Boy Bobby, iconic movie made here in South Australia in Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. Let's get on to Port Adelaide, Davron Park. That is like, if you want community spirit and connectiveness, you know, go go to Sunshine, go to Mount Druitt in Sydney there, go to Davron Park here in Australia. Just just go to your local Coles and just feel that family essence, that family spirit. That You just walk in those places, you're like, you know what, I just, why did I even have a vasectomy? That's just the dumbest thing ever. We need more kids out there, you know, in Africa and such, all the starving kids, that's all finished up. They're all getting fed. They're watching Trump on Twitter. It's all good now, you know? It's, it, everything's getting better, guys. Dr hey, who's doing drugs? Mexico drug cartels injuring civilians? That's not happening, man. That's maybe some GTA computer game. The world is getting better. It's the pull, like the air quality. Look, I'll go to WAQI -W next, you know? The air quality is getting better. Everything's getting better out there. This is the last, once Corona's gone, I can probably next week, we'll get back to normal. Once Corona's done, that'll be the last time this ever happens again. All right? If we just take care of Corona, the vaccine's good enough, that's that's finished. There'll be no more viruses ever. Because right? we know once you get a vaccine for the flu, you can never, ever get it again. So all we need to do is just, do, you've got to vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. You know, we, we, we vaccinated for the, the plague, that's gone. We vaccinated for smallpox, that's gone. Polio, that some people say it's Epstein-Barr, I don't know, it's, it's gone. Autism, that's probably for vegan parents. You know, it's nothing to do with the Theo Mercil Mercury. Mercury's fine. Mercury's fine to inject. Like it's, I mean, if, if the doctors say it's good, it's good. If it's okay with the doc, it's okay with me. Anyway, I'm signing off here. Um, yeah. What can I say, man? Just stay safe. Eat your meat. Get your protein. Take your vaccine. Stay away from sugar. The brain doesn't run on sugar. The brain runs on fats. Get your healthy fats every meal.